Hello my dear students hope you all are doing well Today I am here to tell you a story This story is about a horse and his name is Darkie The name of the story is Black Beauty I have taken this story from the first chapter of your English readers book I hope you will all like the story Now the name of the novel is same as our chapter that is Black Beauty The author is Anna Seville. This is a very cute story about a horse who lived with his mother in an English farm. The novel tells us about his childhood, various difficulties he faced while he was pulling cabs in London, and finally towards his happy retirement at the end. I am sure you will all enjoy it. Now let me introduce you to the main characters of the story. The main characters of the story are Darky, Darky's mother, Farmer Gray, Dick, Squire Gordon and so on. So now without wasting further time, let's explore the story. Black Beauty is a tale of a handsome horse who lived on an English farm. My dear children, English farm means a farm which is located in England. He began his life as a carefree colt called Darky. Now, students, you must be wondering what do you mean by a colt, right? When the horse is young and it's a male, it is known as a colt. So we are calling Darky as a colt. As soon as Darky was old enough to eat grass, his mother would go out to work in the daytime. Darky played with the other six colts on the farm. Sometimes they would gallop fast or kick and bite each other. But Darky's mother always taught him to work hard and to be kind. She used to explain Darky how well bred and well born he was. Also, his father is well known. His grandfather won the cup at the new market races that too twice. and his grandmother is gentle and kind his mother always advised him to learn from them all she taught him not to bite or kick anyone and he must do his work well children i am sure your parents also expect you to behave well with others let's continue the story farmer gray was darky's master and a good man who looked after them well He often used to be concerned about little Darky. But sometimes Dick the plow boy would hide in the hedges and throw stones at the horses. One day Farmer Gray happened to notice Dick's cruel game. He caught Dick by the arm and scolded him. He warned him that this was the last time he troubled his horses and he asked Dick to leave his farm forever This was how Darky's days were going in the farm and soon he turned 4 years old A man named Mr Gordon came to look at Darky He was impressed He wished to have Darky as his horse He also examined Darky's eyes his mouth and his legs He liked Darky and felt if Darky gets proper training he could do really well. A few days later, Farmer Gray sent Darky to another farm for his training. Before Darky goes to Mr Gordon's home, he was sent for his training. This is how the next chapter of Darky's life began. The new farm had a railway track running along one side. Darky grazed in the meadow along with sheep and cow when suddenly Darky got frightened he had never seen such a creature earlier but sometimes later Darky got used to this creature he realized that the train never entered the field or harmed anyone soon he understood that the train is nothing to be scared of during his stay at the farm Darky made many new friends and got to know many new things. Then one day Farmer Gray returned to take Darky back to his farm as his training was over. By this time 
Taki did not startle by looking at trains and he was ready to take carriage to the railway station. By now, Taki was well trained and was able to do all the things. Farmer Gray got Taki back to his original farm and continued to train him. Now, Farmer Gray started training Taki by putting collar, saddle and bridle. He got used to all of these in few days. Soon, Taki learned how to carry a person on his back. Also, he learned how to trot with a cart attached to him. Farmer Gray continued to teach him how not to startle or kick or neigh unnecessarily. After a few months, Mr. Gordon came to take the well-trained Darkie to his home. There he began his new life and made many new friends. Children, I hope you all liked listening to the story of Black Beauty. If you want to know more about Darkie's life, please read the novel named Black Beauty. Thank you.